I'm preparing a crowd pleasing feast for my family gathering for iftar. Beginning from the day before, I prepared 10 dishes including soups, two main dishes. side dishes, olive oil dishes, bureks, two desserts and salads. And I'm gonna share everything what I did, how I planned to give you an idea. Let's begin. So the day before I decided to make the desserts, the soubery, which is a specialty and the homemade lemonade. Suburi is a type of pastry in Turkish cuisine. We love it, but it is time consuming and not everyone can make it at home from scratch. So we usually make it for the special holidays, gatherings and celebrations. And I will be making suburi for my guests for the first time. So the dough is like a pasta dough. I had six eggs and a little bit of water. It is sticky, don't add too much flour. It should be a bit sticky because of the eggs. But still we want a soft dough to be able to roll out. So without waiting, I cut the dough into 10 pieces and place it on a plate with the sprinkled flour at the bottom and top cover it so it stays moist and begin to roll out with a rolling pin and alternately i'm gonna use oklava here but i want to show you how i do it two together if you sprinkle enough flour between the layers you can do two three together and from time to time work with one and then continue to roll out with two together again we also have ready filo sheets that has eggs special for making super egg so it is possible to make it with those sheets as well it could be a bit thicker but it is also possible to roll out the doughs only using rolling pin so i rolled them out 10 pieces and going to cook them before placing to my pan here i have beetroots i'm gonna make a salad with it i'm heating up about two liters of water two two and a half with some salt and vegetable oil and melting about 200 grams of butter and add third of a cup vegetable oil and traditionally we make the suberek with cheese filling i have feta cheese with some chopped parsley and a kashar cheese or mozzarella you can use using 40 centimeter in diameter round pan i buttered the bottom and placed one uncooked a suberi sheets and then begin to cook my uh, sheets one by one it takes about let's say uh, 10 to 15 seconds until it boils up a little bit and then you take it out into cold water drain the excess water and uh, butter between the layers and place it to the pan half of it i'm gonna place it to bottom and then add my cheese layer and top it with the rest of the sheets it is a little bit tricky here to cook uh, put it into cold water and drain the sheets but after a time you get used to it and it is easier to work if you are making for the first time with a smaller dough and you can also cut the dough into four pieces 
then boil and transfer it to the cold water it is easier to work this way as well I'm gonna keep my burek in the fridge and cook the next day and serve it freshly I wanted to experiment to use tin filo sheets baklava sheets on top as they do in bakeries we'll see how it's gonna turn out During Ramadan, the syrupy desserts gets more popular. I'm making a new one. It is similar to shekar pare, but the dough is a bit different and also the shape. After whisking my butter and powdered sugar, I added the eggs. Then the other ingredients, vinegar is optional to make it a bit more crumbly. We want a soft dough we can shape. I'm gonna cut the dough into three parts and work individually with one. You turn the dough into a lock, a little bit into rectangle as you can see and cut with either a cookie cutter or with a medium sized glass and shape it into crescents I drizzled some vegetable oil to the egg yolk I separated egg wash and bake in 170 Celsius degree oven until golden on top and bottom I placed them together in the one big tray and poured the cold syrup over hot crescent dessert and closed it with another tray to help to soak the syrup. I'm also going to serve homemade lemonade made with frozen lemons and oranges. I always have them ready in the freezer. I'm making it concentrated and going to dilute with mix of cold water and sparkling water. And the final recipe of the night was chicken breast pudding with caramel sauce that my daughter made. I also had the recipe, I'm gonna add the links down below. Next day in the morning I take out everything that I shopped for the menu the vegetables, the meat, wash them. It was all on my island and I was ready to cook. Going to begin to cook my meat first and we'll continue to make the others. I have one and a half kilogram beef just going to saute a little bit until it begins to turn its color it will also release its water but continue to cook and soak the water and will be soft very simple way to uh, cook beef chunks don't add any salt while cooking make sure to add it at the final stage I'm gonna keep it on the side until I fry my eggplants and going to bring them together. My friends, if you are enjoying watching my video, please don't forget to support with your thumbs up and comments, which helps me to reach other people. In Turkish cuisine in a classic home today in Turkey, our menu usually begins with a soup, then a stew either with beans or vegetables, then the main dish usually with meat or chicken in oven like a kebab so my second dish as a stew i'm making köfteli orman kebabı normally it consists with beef chunks along with green peas and fried potatoes and carrots since i'm using beef chunks in my eggplant dish i decided to make it with köfte and differently in the köfte instead of breadcrumbs i'm using tin bulgur 
After the mixture is rested for about an hour in the fridge, I shaped into small köftes and as my mother thought I was able to make it two at a time by dipping my hands into some oil and roll it between my palms. Next I begin to work with my vegetables. I partially peel the eggplants and cut into fours and then into chunks. Going to soak them in some salty water before fry them. This will help to get the bitter juice out and also helps to fry them more easily without soaking too much oil. Meanwhile, my daughter is cleaning the broad beans and while doing it, you have to keep it in a lemony, flowery water in order to prevent them getting darker. And here is the bitter juice I'm talking about after keeping the eggplants about half an hour to 45 minutes. When you cook for more people, even the simple peeling potatoes, cutting the vegetables takes much more time. Diced potatoes and carrots will go to my forced kebab. Sometimes the broad beans can be stubborn to cook, so this time I decided to cook them in the instant pot. So I cut two onions in julienne, added some olive oil and the broad beans and the must have for this recipe is fresh dill get the stems out and chop it finely add salt and another must have sugar we use in olive oil dishes more olive oil on top I'm going to add mix of flour and water again I used one cup water but it could have been less because I'm using pressure cooker so I would recommend use half cup instead along with one heaped tablespoon flour to thicken the sauce I'm gonna cook on low pressure for 10 minutes and we'll let the pressure go by itself not going to touch It's time to give some more flavor to our vegetables. Frying the potatoes and carrots are optional, but if you are giving a feast and want your dishes to be extra flavorful, I would recommend to fry them. Before adding my fresh peas, I'm gonna partially boil them too. When working with eggplants, my friends, if you are making a kebab, it is kind of a necessity to pre-fry them. Or either you can also uh, drizzle some olive oil and bake in the oven or in the air fryer. But the best result comes with frying. And here are my köfte balls. I partially fried them again to give some more flavor. Later I'm gonna bring all the veggies and the köftes together and they will continue to cook more. So I had all my preparations, my köfte is ready, so the veggies are fried, meat chunks are ready, all I have to do was to bring them together. I take out the cooked beef chunks in another pan and begin to make my patlıcan kebabı, eggplant kebab. After sauteing the onions, I'm adding heaped tablespoon tomato and pepper paste. Next the beef and saute a bit. Adding about a four or five cloves of garlic, roughly chopped, and hot water. I simmered for about 10-15 minutes and then 
add over half of my fried eggplants and place the rest of the fried eggplants on top. Later I drizzled more hot water and baked in the oven in 200 celsius degree until sizzles for about half an hour more. Here I'm soaking my rice in hot salty water to make my pilaf. I will add the links for the recipe. Next again in the same pan I'm gonna make my köfteli orman kebabı. I sauteed the onions again and added chopped green peppers. Heap tablespoon of each tomato and pepper paste. If you can't find pepper paste use red kapya pepper or just tomato paste instead. Adding some chopped garlic and again hot water. Next the halfway cooked green peas and fried carrots. I'm going to cook them first and then later add the köftes and potatoes. My broad beans cooked so beautifully, soft and delicious. I sprinkled more chopped dill and olive oil and it is ready. After my uh, carrots and peas were soft, I added the köfte, more water, continued to cook until my köfte is soft and all flavors are come together and finally added potatoes because they were already soft. Sprinkled some oregano and my köfteli orman kebabı is ready. Compared to others, it was a longer video, my friends, because it took more time for me as well. I hope you are enjoying. Please let me know with your comments and likes. Here is my soup. I made çeşmi nigar çorbası. It is from Ottoman cuisine, similar to lentil soup, but has a beautiful silky sauce with egg yolk, milk and lemon. It came out really good but I wasn't able to film it all but don't worry I already have the recipe again just check the links and you can make it from there. So my friends after my guests came of course with the chatting and preparing the table for a special time which is exactly sunset to break our fasting I was in a rush and I forgot to film the rest this is my suberi I was cutting and uh, this is the chicken breast pudding with caramel sauce. I was only able to get some photos. You see iftariyelik plates, some uh, breakfast items to break our fast, salad, broad beans, suberi, dates, pides and yogurt. But I had plenty full from everything to set another table the next day so here it is the same menu this time for us okay my friends it was a bit long video i hope you enjoyed i have many other menu ideas star ideas you can make for your family and friends you can also check them thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next episode ramadan mubarak